Welcome back to another animation analysis and today I'm going to take a look at the Toy Story 4 trailer. That's right, new trailer is out and of course I want to dig into the animation goodness so let's take a look at it right now. So one of the first things is the massive widescreen aspect ratio. I love it. What is this, like an anamorphic, super anamorphic 2.6? I don't know, but it's huge and I love it. Part of the main thing that stood out to me was um, the lighting. I mean, the animation is always super cool. It's a Pixar movie after all, but the lighting and the look of this, I'm sorry, I'm gonna nerd out and just look at just the renders. So cool. Sorry, had to nerd out here. Love the look, love the look. Look at this here, look at that. So cool. Look at the depth of field. Just the focus on here, just the colors, it just, it just looks really good. They really have this completely down. And she is here building Sporky, I believe that's the name. Look at this here. Sorry, again, I have to nerd out. Visual nerding of the look. And I love that you can frame through all this now. Detail stuff, which I love, of course. The movement that gets pushed. And because of that, this continues to move. Oh, look at that. I'm doing the reflection there. If you've watched my channel, you know I love all those little details that you put into things. So good. Very clean silhouette here. I'm putting this on. I feel bad for anybody having to animate all of this. <laughs> the moment you got multiple character shots, I feel bad. All right, so this is the second thing I want to talk about. And the cool thing about Toy Story is that they're all made out of different material. And you see that later on with the uh, ventriloquist things. But the cool thing is the uh, Sporky, the material of those twisty, metally, you know, things here in his arms. And I love how they bounce. Look at this, especially here. It really, really feels like the material that's on there. Oh, <laughs> cute. I added the name there. But I think that's really cool, and it's a good opportunity if you ever have an animation shot where it's not a human, so it's something that, you know, it's harder plastic, fluffier, uh, super hard plastic, or, you know, with more bendy arms and legs, or some, something like this here. And I think this is a really cool opportunity if you have something like this, if it's an object like that, or it could be, it's pretend it's a robot that has things on it, or whatever, where you can really analyze well, what is this made out of, what's the material, and really push that. So cool, though. watch that again. I love this here, I love that. The change of <laughs> into this, to this pose, great. Yes, this is gonna be a frame by frame nerding out of everything. I thought I'm gonna be talking just about the general things, but now that I'm framing through this, I can't help myself. I have to look at all of those awesome shots here. All right, into logos. Again, I'm looking at the look. It definitely gets more and more uh, realistic. She's got her new toys, of course, with the Pixar trailer, I was kind of look at um, cameos of other things, which I spotted one in the poster. Look at that look here. Just love the renders, the lighting of the side here. I'm just a massive fan of the look of this movie, I have to say. Now, the interesting thing too is that it addresses how he understands that he is alive now, and he doesn't understand why, actually. And I think he wants to be garbage. I'm, I'm watching this without the sound, and I think he said something, I'm okay with food and I want to be garbage, I can't remember. So he, he wants to die, I'm not quite sure. It's a very heavy theme. I think overall it's very, very, it seems creepier. Creepier and darker, look at this. Sorry, I gotta go back and look at renders. This is super cool in terms of the mechanics. Look at that, look at that, holy moly. Crazy poses. Especially with a toy like this, you can obviously break everything. Get your Dutch tilt because the world is upside down and is not comfortable. The classic camera stuff there. Look at this look. I just love this. Such a cool look. Cute contrast too. If you do have two characters, it's always funny to see. Uh, size different, size contrast, but also the movements, the walks. And you got the classic Woody acting here. I love those eyes. I love how they're constantly moving. That's your classic Woody there, look at the shapes. It's awesome. It's very cool. Look at that. Sorry, I'm just still amazed at the renders. There's always kind of, you got the Spider-Verse look of the pushed comic book aspect, which I love. And at the same time, I love stuff like this. 
I have to say, look at that. Look at those renders. Then we're getting into creepy doll territory. These are awesome. I love this. I, I haven't really, to be honest, played with or used ventriloquist dolls, but it always kind of feels like this would be made out of wood and be hard. And this has zero structure and would be floppy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how they walk. And I'm assuming that's kind of the idea behind this. With what parts are soft, what parts are hard. This is super creepy. Getting into horror territory. Looking at me! Oh, classic. Look at this. I mean, how can you not frame through this? Look at those poses on that run. That's pretty cool to know. <laughs> As always, anything with contact, I feel bad for anybody animating this. But look at the look and the lighting. Sorry, back, back to look and lighting. But even stuff like this, just the feeling of this with the colors and the light making this creepier and more dangerous. Boweep is back. See some more backstory stuff here. Oh, look at this. Love them. There's something where they're in the uh, more of a lit room afterwards. Love that look. I'm gonna probably like copyright strike by just playing this. And then we get a bit more of what he's up to. Here they're back into. Look at that look. So good. They're back to rescuing their friend. That's cool too. You can see his little bounces there. This is not flat surface, there's stuff there, and you can see it in his root, up and down. Detail work, always think about the surface, the contact of the character on the surface. Can you play it up? Will it help the feel? Look at this, look at this look. This is the shot I was talking about. It's very cool. <laughs> Creepy. What is this? Oh, the magic of framing through things. You got your detail work on fingers. Sorry, I have to always narrow down on hands and fingers. See the tightening. Getting up there. She has a cool look too. That's cute. Uh -huh. what? Who is this? <laughs> That's cute. Little hat there. Facial changes there. That's cute too. Just the close ups and the facial expressions. It's just funny how you can have those big moments and those big body mechanics moves uh, and then go into something where it's just much more subtle and it still completely works. Oh, yes, contact points and fingers. That's great too. Of course, love that detail. She must be pretty heavy. <laughs> affecting that car like this. And they're back on the road. It's a nice look there. <laughs> Come on, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at those shapes. So good. So good. I don't even know how you come up with this. This is just frame by frame goodness. Come on, it's so good. Oh, I love this. Such an awesome run. Oh, classic, classic. Andy. There, I say I'm not a nerd enough to know what those things are. There's probably, there must be some cameos or uh, Easter eggs in here. Ah, uh, from the first teasers. He seems so angry. And that's supposed to be Keanu Reeves, I believe. <laughs> yes. Yes. Duke something. I just read something about it this morning. You can't have enough Keanu Reeves. Oh, creepy dolls are back. Cool. Look at the timing of those head turns. See, you can see how that I always talk. Actually, today I finished Animation Mentor uh, semester, and, and the main note was making sure that when you have a body part that turns, that it does affect the rest. So you can have a quick turn, but you can see this, even on this, you can see how the shoulder is moving. 
it's never just separate. And then as it continues on here, you can see how it pushes the chest down, has a cool overshoot for that look. And you can see this on this one as well, and it does affect the arms. Super important to tie in all those body mechanics. Oh, there they are. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at that. Zombie-like. Love those legs. It's a beautiful shot again. This is almost uh, like the Matrix. I should blend in that Matrix shot where... Isn't that in the tunnel, and then you have Neo, and then there's the car, and there's the tunnel, and you get the rain coming down? I might have to blend this in. Nerd! Oh, yes. Perfect ending to the other third movie here. I don't know what that is. This must be the Keanu Reeves guy. Look at that. Oh, look at that look. I just love the renders. It's very nice. <laughs> Those eyes are great. I love this. Oh, look at this. Yes, I know, I keep saying this, but come on, look at this render. It's such a nice shot. Composition, the color, so good. Oh, there we go. That's it, Toy Story 4, June 21st. Feels like it's telling us a lot story-wise. I can't wait for the Japanese trailer, and by that I mean I will never watch it because the Japanese trailers are awesome, but they also spoil the movie. Come on, look at this, so cool. I'm gonna end it on this. That's it. My nerdy look at the trailer, it's very cool. Of course, I'm gonna watch it. I'm curious to see what the actual story is. And that's it. If you're still here watching this, thank you for watching. And if you wanna hear my usual like and subscribe and hitting the bell button, then you are in the right spot. I gotta say this at the very end. I do appreciate all the likes and people subscribing. It's always very nice. So there you go, Toy Story 4. Go watch it when it comes out. I know I will. And um, see you in my next clip.